player faces a challenging drive with the fairway guarded by a bunker on the right and a water hazard on the left. An elevated green sloping slightly to the back of the green makes for a very challenging second shot. The 11th hole is the signature hole of the course, with a series of bunkers along the hole waiting to capture errant shots. The key to playing this hole well is to avoid the many bunkers. The green is undulating and ideally most times it is best to play the shot into the green to the right of the flag stick. Though there are no bunkers, this is a very challenging par 3. Any shots not on the green are bound to find trouble with the water hazard to the left, slopes left, back and to the right. The green is long, undulating and narrow, requiring an accurate shot to get close to the pin. The 13th hole is a relatively short par 4 where the fairway bunker on the right is best avoided. Good club selection for the second shot is the key to a good score on this hole as the bunker right, water has it left and creek at the back of the green all await a poor shot. The 14th hole is a straightforward, slightly uphill hole where keeping out of the bunkers will reward the player. A drive to the left of the fairway bunker will leave a nice shot to an uphill green. The second shot normally calls for a mid to short iron, though distance can be deceiving to the uphill green. Being uphill, the shot to the green often plays longer than it appears. The 15th hole has numerous water hazards 
and fairway bunkers, which were fine wayward shots. A long straight drive followed by another long straight shot is required to set up the ideal approach shot to the green. A precise approach is required to avoid the greenside bunkers and rocky outcrop at the back of the green. Once on the green, an undulating green will test the best of putting strokes. The 16th hole is a picturesque par 3 with outer bounds on the left and where the bunker on the right gives the impression of the green being closer than it is. Short hitters can run the ball all the way to the green from the left hand side. The 17th hole is the last realistic birdie chance for the round. An ideal drive is to the left of the centre of the fairway, though a long ball too far left could finish out of bounds. The downhill second shot often plays shorter than it appears and a ball landing short of the green may roll to the right. The 18th hole is a challenging finishing hole where a par is a good result. Centre of the fairway is the preferred line for the drive, leaving a longish, uphill, though straightforward shot to the green. The green rises from front to back and is best to leave an uphill putt on this green. 